How to replace a failed storage drive on a Max Pro NVR PE Rev B. When one or more storage drives fail on a Max Pro NVR PE, you might hear a sound like this, indicating either that the RAID has failed or is degraded. To check the status of the RAID, locate the HWAM icon on the desktop and double click it. In the tree on the left, locate the ARC controller card under the SAS RAID controller menu. The default credentials are admin 0000. You'll notice the very first page that pops up shows the volume state is degraded and shows a failed drive. To stop the beeper, locate the system controls folder and click the view events mute beeper hyperlink. Then return to the RAID set hierarchy menu under the information folder. It shows here that our volume state is degraded and the drive in slot 4 has failed. You can locate the failed drive by observing the lights on the front of the NVR storage array, looking for the drive with a red indicator light instead of blue like the rest. It is safe to remove the failed drive with the unit powered on and replace it with a new healthy drive. Typically, this is enough to tell the controller to begin reinitializing the drive in that bay. However, if it doesn't, you can start the initialization process by clicking the RAID Set Functions menu on the left, then click on Create Hot Spare. Select the new drive in the list, confirm the operation, and click Submit. Returning to the RAID Set Hierarchy menu under Information should show that a new drive has been recognized in the originally failed slot, and that the volume state is now rebuilding. Once this process is complete, the volume state should go back to normal. Explore our trainings and discover your potential. Go to HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com.